Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Grave of the Fireflies. Now obviously this is a, another Ghibli movie and I've heard that this is um, quite emotional and quite sad. Um, I don't know about uh, the actual, I have not read the summary even. Uh, I think it is like something about some kind of war. So like I'm going in completely blind but because uh, like I know nothing about this. Uh, Totoro and uh, what else Spirited Away I kind of had a like brief kind of uh, picture of what it was like Totoro had this like huge kind of thing and uh, Spirited Away had uh, I don't know kind of like those pigs and everything like those were like the pictures I had in my mind and those like the nameless that thing with the mask and Princess Monok obviously from the like, picture I can kind of guess but um, this is something that I really have no idea about like completely blind I only know that it is uh, related to some kind of war and and what else and that's it and this is quite emotional so let's see what this is about because <coughs> excuse me because uh, the ratings that this got is uh, like quite high as well so I am expecting a lot from this so yeah guys, um, without further ado, let's get started with Grave of the Fireflies. Alright, uh, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started with the movie. Alright, so here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, let's see. Excuse me. <clears throat> that was the night I died. Nineteen forty five. Quite old. Oh, is he a spirit or something? Oh damn. Still alive. Kind of. Oh no, he's not alive. He's dead. Americans will be coming. Is he alive or dead? Yeah, he's barely alive, I think. Yeah. Oh no. What the? There are other people like him as well, like the same state. This guy has a strong dialect as a Japanese, like. I don't know what dialect this is, but it's kind of weird the the way he talks. What is that? I'm kind of bored. Oh, are these spirits now? I think like he was talking something about his sister. I'm guessing this is his sister and this is him as a spirit like now. 
Oh, maybe uh, in, his uh, sister's remains were in there. I think there, there were like bones and everything inside. So maybe it was the remains his, of his sister or something. Okay, so both of them died. Like, all right. So the the guy also died now, and I, I'm guessing his sister was already dead. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Oh my god. Everything's burning or something. Damn, it's bright. Ah. Uh, is that Oh, it's an explosion. Yeah, they're in the middle of the war, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh 1940 is this World War Two, I'm I'm pretty bad at like uh, the dates and everything. So and I'm pretty I'm not good at like the world history. So please <laughs> forgive me if I <laughs> like make a mistake or something. Set to go. Okay, this is when they were alive. I'm guessing. And obviously, like Japan was the, like, where like the explosions happened of like the nuclear explosions of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, is this like I'm going to say that story? Like, what happened to the people? I'm guessing. Air raid! Oh my god! Oh my god, you should yeah. Like leave everything and run. Oh no, you can hear their airplane. Good oh no. It's already started. Oh no. Oh no, what the? Just imagine the, the. Those are not bombs. What were they? What are these? Like. Burning splinters? Yeah, they're like burning wood. Okay, okay. Better watch out. Oh my god. Oh no, wooden houses. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, run.
Oh. Is that the shelter? No, no. Oh, they're going to be an underground shelter, I think. Who are these people? Why are they? Oh my god. Like looking at these things, we can like appreciate like at least we're in a peace time now. Oh my god, like just imagine like especially the kid, like the little girl, like instead of like uh, running around playing in the vast white fields like she has to experience all of these things in such a young age oh Nipomatsu station <clears throat> Geta Traditional flip flops Hmm? Oh. <clears throat> um all right. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh his their dad is I think in the army. Oh, seeing the picture I thought maybe his dad was dead. But I'm guessing he's just like out in the like front lines or something. Excuse me. Like imagine this is everyday life for them like. They're looking for their mom.
एलिमेंट्री स्कूल फॉर फर्स्ट एड ओ द डस्ट कॉटन Oh there listen mom or not no 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 that's not their mom oh no okay How did she get hit like Wait what Oh is that Is that the mom Oh my god Oh my god that is like That means she really got burned. she can't even i think open her eyes like it hurts because of the burn <clears throat> oh my god this uh, like movie is something else like i did not expect this i thought maybe it was sad or something but okay this is like uh... I don't think I've seen an animal like this before like this amount of heavy stuff there are like sad animals emotional animals but this is like a completely different type of I don't know genre you can say like it's completely different oh her cheek got burned And we already know these two are dead because in the beginning we saw them like in their spirit form. So, like we know kind of how this is going to end. <laughs> this is Osaka Ben, isn't it? The dialect. Like Kansai Ben dialect. Mm. No, the amount of stress and everything. Oh boy. <laughs>
Wow, this guy is pretty strong. <laughs> Oh no. Is he dead? Or are they transporting him to a like hospital or something? Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, obviously, like, in a state like that, she wouldn't survive, especially if she has a heart disease, like, the stress and everything will get to her. It's a spirit form, isn't it? They're like watching over or something. Or like, uh, it's like showing the past. Like the struggles that they had to go through. <laughs> hmm. Wait, she doesn't know? Wait, is their mom dead? Like, I'm like confused now. Or was it someone else? Like the bodies that were like burnt. Like, why would he say something like that? Like, I'll take you to mom when she's better. Oh, what is this? I kind of hit this underground or something? Oh, the thing. Oh, maybe they like uh, put it underground so like the bombs don't like damage like the important things. They like buried it underground so that the bombs don't destroy it or something. Mm. 
Mm. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, plum? I'm guessing. Is that plum? Yeah, like everything is like destroyed, like the bombs after it, like dried bonito eggs. Ah, yeah, pickled plums. Oh no. Oh yeah, she died. Oh no. Yeah, so. Um, oh no. Where are they going? In the middle of the night? Bullfrogs, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> No. <sighs> wow. Uh, we barely see fly fireflies these days. Like, when I was a kid, I kind of saw a few of them, like, outside in the, like, but nowadays, like, barely see anything yeah you have to be like in uh like a place like this and like in the middle of nature to like see them oh that thing those candies or whatever okay these are not burnt marks i think these are uh, i don't know oh it got stuck <laughs> well i also did this like candies i kind of swallowed it and then felt bad i thought like what the hell did i do like without savoring it i just swallowed it <laughs> i'm so sad for because of that reason Okay, are, are they not getting fed properly? I kind of felt a little odd about the lady, like some of the things that she said. Like, uh, he said some, she said something about like the army is all well off and everything. 
two times not one time making it is as if they are like having it easy oh yeah yeah she's also like like hurting them about the like their father now one thing i'm a bit concerned is like if something happens to their father as well i'm not sure how she will react like the whole i think the way she behaves will change completely Okay, they are being fed. All right, that's good. Oh, only liquid. Oh boy. Oh my god, not again. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Like this show really makes you appreciate like how easy we have now. Like I'm feeling really bad looking at this. Oh. Hmm? Oh, getting salt. Oh. <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Are they going to like uh, take salt? Yeah, those are burns, aren't they? Yeah, 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 those are burns. I was thinking there was something else. Crap.
Hmm. Oh, what the? Whose leg is that? Oh no, I think he's probably dead. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the past. Yeah. When everything was okay. Uh. Oh no, not again. Oh boy, run. Yeah. Oh my god, it's here again. Ugh. <sighs> and here we go. Yeah, the things that she's saying is true. Oh boy. She still doesn't know. No, they, she had that thing. So I think, oh, it's that. I think that's a birthmark or something, not a burn mark. Or or is it just the like way it is like drawn? Okay. At least she is like uh, giving them stuff like it's not as bad like I've seen a lot of like animes and like shows where like they kind of mistreat them but at least they're not mistreating them it's, it's kind of like fine well yeah and also like this is war time time so people will be a lot more like Calculative with their food and have stuff and everything.
Mm. Ah, here we go. Uh, okay. Oh. Mm. Seven thousand yen. At that time, I think that's pretty big amount. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's better than nothing, the umbrella. Mm. Okay. Oh, <sighs> yeah, like there now. But it will like run out sooner or later. Oh, these are rationing. Okay, they're getting rations, but still, like... Oh no, it's all gone. Mm, there is one. Okay, three of them are... Mm, that's the end. Hmm. <laughs> 
kept it back. <laughs> She's like quietly saying doesn't want to like disturb the others. Oh my god. Like the... Ah like staying in this house is also kind of a stressful job. Mm, you'll get the sweet kind of water, I think. Yeah. But it will go away quickly, like when the flavor goes away. <laughs> yeah, she always gives half of it to her brother. Oh boy. Ah, uh, she's. And again. Okay, in the middle of the night. Well, that is kind of true, but still, yeah, no relatives, no uh, like news from her their father as well. Hmm. Wait, is that something? Can you do that? I'm not sure. Oh, they're like, uh, like gathering each and everything from their like old house.
what is this like is this some kind of shelter or something Hmm. <laughs> Spilling. Oh. What are these? Well, yeah, they have to work, but like at least they are like ha happy. Like in that house, they like are con continuously have to like hear the griping of the lady. Only thing I'm concerned about is is, is it okay that they're using this place without any kind of like permission? But who would get, even get permission from? Okay, bullfrog. Um, no. <laughs> hmm. Ah. <sighs> Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, there's no electricity, like that's one thing. Kamikaze plane, oh. What are they going to do, like? Take it in like a jar or something? Or like lighting? <laughs> you can do that for lighting, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a lot of them. Damn. How did they catch so many of them? It's like a uh, like sky, night sky. Naval review. What? Oh, okay.
Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did she fall asleep? Yep. Oh my oh yeah, she understood well obviously like oh my god okay that's why i thought maybe she realized it herself The sadness that he had, like he had to keep it in because he thought uh, her sister, uh, his sister did not know it. So now that she, like he understands that his sister knows everything. Ah, the sadness comes out. <laughs> oh no yep i was thinking like maybe someone would come here Oh yeah, they're going to, they're like trying to eat. What? What a ghost? Yeah. Yeah, like I was thinking. No, like he has to start working now, I'm guessing. Oh boy. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's also another thing.
What the? Oh no! Oh, there are like tomatoes. But... Mm. Okay, well... Probably you should run away quicker from here because... Okay, no one saw them. Oh! Oh, oh, what is that? Yeah, the rain is getting in. Well, this is a problem if you not have a proper shelter, like, it's going to happen. And, yep, it's also, it's like the war time. Hmm, you got some fish. Oh. Yeah, like... Oh my god, maybe some kind of infection? Like they were eating frogs and everything. Yeah, like if you eat something like that. Oh my god. Yeah, he is... Oh no. Yeah, like you're going too far.
Uh, yeah, they like kind of, kind of made a mistake uh, leaving that house. Like, uh, even if like things were bad there, at least they had a shelter and a place to go. But uh, by this, like, they're going to like die like this, like in infection, proper malnutrition, all of these. Oh, he's like. Oh, he's taking this and like stealing food or something? Yeah, oh my god. Now, like, he has to resort to these kind of things now. And he is like going again to find food or something. Yeah, yeah, he is again. Oh boy. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh my God. Yeah, the thing that everyone everyone terrorizes about, like uh, fears, he like that is the only way left for him to get some food now. Now he wants like these bombs to like drop because otherwise he won't get food. Oh my god! Oh, I hope she's okay. No, she's fine. Oh no, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, reading. Oh no.
Yeah, it's like infection and everything. Oh my. Yeah. Yeah, the food, proper food. What is that water? Yeah, what about their like savings? I'm guessing the rations are not like uh, what can I say like fulfilling for them. Also, like rice won't do anything for you, like nutritional balance. Like, you need protein and uh, vitamins, minerals, everything. Like rice only has carbohydrates, and like, that uh, only that won't do. Three thousand yen. Okay, I hope he doesn't get robbed or something. Like, I have a bad feeling. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is stressful, like. What's she licking? What?
What is she like? What's in her mouth? What the hell is that? What is that? Marvel. Oh no. The food that he brought. <sighs> she didn't even get to eat it. Oh, like, I think the war has ended now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, after the surrender and everything, like, all the people, like, uh, were in the army, who were outside, in the, like, front lines or something, those who were alive, they're, like, coming back. <sighs> like, it's a happy time for everyone, but for him and... <sighs> nothing left and all.
<laughs> what is it doing? It's playing with a reflection. When I think when his brother was not there, she like spent time like this. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, he took it with him. Oh my god, this is... <coughs> Alright, this was um... Grave of Fireflies and I don't know what to say. <coughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I was um yeah like this was a pretty different thing. Um, I was not expecting something so heavy like. <clears throat> like sadness is one thing but this is I don't know this is even worse than like uh, shows that kind of make you cry a little bit but this kind of, kind of keeps a, like a bad I don't know like aftertaste even after watching and I think this is the first time I've like seen something like a heavy like this like 
because thinking about it this is something that has happened like this is just a story of like someone out there in like in the time when they were like in the middle of a war and kind of like knowing that makes it a lot more like like sadder and more real like the realistic thing kind of makes it more like sadder and like depressing because like for example i'm taking a few uh, examples like clanad plastic memories shigatsuwa kimi no uso these were sad animes angel beats anohana and like those were really sad animes and like i also like shed tears a lot like when um, ushio died nagisa died in clanad and anohana when uh, menma was like her name was menma wasn't it like the last uh, like uh, like when they were like playing hide and seek that time in uh, your lie in april uh, when <clears throat> like in the last when we get to know what uh, happened to the girl and what it was about all of these things were sad but this was sad in a different way because this is something that is not real because like nagisa and ushio dying in clanad and coming back to life is something that can never happen uh, anohana a ghost coming in like menma's ghost coming in and um like playing with them and all that's also something that won't happen that's not real shigatsuwa kimi no so that was kind of real because that could have happened it was a lot more sadder and it was a lot more impactful because of that and it was just a story but it was a story but in this like this is not a story this is something that has happened and it's probably happening where there is like war going on now like i'm not even sure if there is like some kind of war going on in some place of the world who knows like there's some kind of fighting or what but uh like war st- like stricken places and uh, where there is like continuous war going on the show this show that happened like we saw this has happened already this is no story this is a real thing so that kind of makes it more heavy and more uh sad depressing whatever you call it and the the realistic uh uh like the realistic thing of this anime kind of makes it a more difficult type of thing to like see and like endure and like in that way i can say that this is like uh this is the first time and like i've been watching anime for a long time but this is the first time i can say that uh realism has made it even more difficult to like uh watch this show and like endure everything that was happening here now the show in itself um now you cannot blame the old lady uh the lady who were taking care of them because they themselves are kind of were kind of in a pinch as well like they were also i'm guessing struggling uh, to get food and everything so imagine like uh when you have your husband and your daughter with you and suddenly like you have to take care of two other people who like is really not doing anything not helping them like they're just sitting and eating uh you will definitely like in that war like uh, like in that time when there like war is happening and everything uh, prices are extremely high uh and uh, rationing is quite low all of these things kind of like made it a lot like i don't know um difficult for her i think to accept them because if this was more uh, like a peace time where like for example your mom and dad like died and he she had to take care of them for a few days i doubt she would have like treated them like that because she was not bad like as far as i i saw uh, what she was doing she really did not mistreat them but she was kind of like griping and kind of like frustrated about everything that was happening and you cannot blame her for that because of the time and what was happening at that time so yeah and she, but she was kind of uh, what can i say a bit uh, harsh on them because obviously she should have like seen that they don't have anywhere to go their mom and dad are not there so i don't know she could have like treated them a lot a bit more kindly but still like you cannot blame her for this because of the times like it is war time so yeah uh, i i really cannot blame her for that and i think uh, the mistake that they made was like going out of the house 
like at, at first i was kind of th thinking like yeah they went away uh, maybe they will have a better life now because they could would not have like they would have a peace of mind when they were like at the beginning when they like uh, took a shelter in that cave uh, they were kind of happy uh, as far as i could say when uh, like comparing to the time when he like they spent in that house but one thing i realized later on uh, which i should have realized a lot earlier was that even if they, they were happy it was a momentary amount for a momentary amount of time when like they start to understand the like uh, uh, i don't know the hardships of living alone and the hardships of like taking care of a kid with no one uh, like around you with no like income and with a time like that in, in a time like that in war like uh like well where war is happening around you um it would be a lot difficult and they kind of like left a place where they could have been a lot better like uh when she was like uh, what can i say when the lady was um making complaints about him like sitting like lying down doing nothing and uh, not helping them and not like contributing them I don't know uh, like he could have like asked them to like say like he could have asked them that like okay what do you want me to do uh, like give me some work to do uh, I'll do the work I'll like earn my keep and please let us stay here if he could have like uh, went in that direction I'm sure uh, like they would have had a better future because as far as I saw he was only like uh, I don't know like um, like waiting for her, their dad to reply and that was the wrong thing that they did they should have like started um but what can you say like their kids like the guy like uh, the like brother he himself was a kid as well so you cannot expect um like that kind of like, like that kind of judgment in an age like that so like uh, like they're both in the wrong here like the old lady could have also said something like uh like uh, why don't you do this thing like uh like go here and do this thing for us and um like in and like in turn we're letting you stay here because obviously you can see that it's like hard times now so why don't you like do this job for me and like earn your keep and uh like stay with us she could have said something like that and like asked him uh, or not asked him but ordered him to like yeah do this do that he could she could have done that if she uh, like really wanted to and the boy could have also like uh, taken proactive steps and uh, like thinking about his sister he could have like uh, started doing some kind of odd jobs here and there inside the house because obviously outside uh, like uh, who would have uh, like given him a job no one would have given him any kind of job in a like state like this so at least he could have like asked the uh, the people in the house if there was something that he could do something that he could do to help because after he left the house uh, there was like no chance he could have got a job because like it is a tough time and i doubt anyone would have given him any kind of job for like uh, like to earn her his keep so his best bet was asking those people when he, they were living with them he was living with them uh, for some kind of like job or something so that he could earn his keep and like keep staying with them uh, it would have been a lot better but unfortunately he did not take that path and like he kind of like took it in his like pride and went away like that just like that like yeah like i like i also realized this later on but that he sh like the thing that um the old man said later on like oh, why don't you go back apologize to her and uh like go back to her like that's your best like bet you have now like he at least had someone even if they were kind of cranky kind of like uh, complaining a lot like he could have like gone there if he wanted to but uh i don't know his pride i'm guessing kind of like stopped him from taking that path because if they were like mistreating him i could have understood like yeah he went away it was good but there was no kind like nothing missed. they were like not beating the kid they were not like i don't know like blaming the kid or they didn't even look at the kid like uh, in a bad way like they were just like the old lady was kind of a little bit complaining and that too is justified because the boy was really not doing anything 
and he was like just like laying down there and like uh, running around with his sister uh, doing his own jobs like uh, his own like uh, laundry and all uh, but at the same time uh, the like the husband of that old uh, of that lady and uh, her daughter were kind of like outside doing their thing so i think that kind of like uh, made her a little bit um, mad but what can you say like these like the or like the kid like the brother and the sister they were not accustomed to this like they as far as we can see uh, we we saw like they were uh, pretty well off like they were uh, kind of like wealthy i think like um they had a nice house like they had quite a good amount of things so suddenly losing each and everything uh, they kind of like uh, like because of their age they were unable to take good decisions so i think uh, the lady could have also like helped them in that way like helping them make the decisions so uh, the fault is kind of in like both of them so like you really cannot blame them any one of them so yeah like this is just unfortunate like, none of this would have happened if like he did what i just said that he could have asked her to like give me some job and i'll like earn my keep here so that i can stay here and that would have been it maybe they would have had a better like future because the war also ended uh, a little bit after that so yeah i think that would have changed their whole future but unfortunately that was not what happened <laughs> no boy and everything was extremely as i said realistic in this show and kind of made it more harder to watch and yeah like war and everything like you guys remember uh, in the start of 2020 there was like a uh, kind of a meme that was going around like world war 3 is going to happen or something like that everyone was like memeing about it and all like <laughs> memes are well and good but if something like that really happened i like i just think like uh what really would have been like the case like people kind of like joke about these kind of things but uh like the reality is really harsh like uh like like just looking at this kind of like like made us like made me and people who watch it i'm sure that they also realized as well that we are extremely well off like the amount of petty things that we uh, like fuss about like that is the like indication that we are in peace times but like, because like in this kind of like situations people like like in a daily basis they think that ah maybe i'll get killed today who knows maybe bombs will like start raining on my head these kind of things and like how will i get like my everyday food uh, what will happen to this country what will happen to us like these are the things that they like uh, think about each and every day uh, this kind of like time in war times but like now like <laughs> like like getting up from like uh, after like sleeping a good sleep uh, as like for example one day i get up and i start thinking like ah what will i do in my i don't know like uh, like amount of like petty kind of like things like for example uh, ah like my uh, air conditioner got bu busted what will happen i'll have to like uh, l like live in this uh, sweltering heat for so many time ah the internet went out how will i like live my life i'm i'm going mad like everything is going <laughs> like like this kind of things like these kind of things when these kind of things like uh, becomes problems it's indication that we're in peace times and that is the best thing as far as i can say because like i hope and i really hope like these kind of like times do not come back at all like we are extremely well off and like yeah like we are privileged to have been born at a time where it's everything is at peace because like watching this oh my god like no like i like you shouldn't even like think about like experiencing time like times like this because this is some harsh reality and this really like i kind of like knew this whole thing like this war kind of thing is bad but uh, like after watching this it really opened my eyes like like we are extremely well off and i sure hope that this continues until like uh the day i like breathe my last 
and we like continue to be at peace <laughs> oh my god this was like something else like <sighs> i don't know what else to say like this showed us the like harsh reality of the people like the things that the people had to endure in war times mm. all right what else was yeah that's it i sh yeah this was like basically uh him after like dying him and her his sister after dying and like kind of it like showed us their past experiences and the life they led and i'm guessing uh like at the end we saw um, the brother uh, take the uh, the food drop uh, can and uh, like uh, ma like taking the remains of her sister inside it and i think he went to uh like train station or something he was like uh, at the beginning we were seeing like he, yeah it was kind of in a <laughs> excuse me uh train station i think wasn't it yeah in the middle of the like road and he like kind of like fell down died and um the food drop uh can also fell down and the remains of her sister kind of went like started spilling out of that so i think uh, like that was it that was his end and his sister has already died and that was it <laughs> okay yeah everything kind of like went started going bad after his like mom got um in, not injured but badly like gravely injured and yeah that was like the start of their downfall start of the like hard times that were going to come they had to face <sighs> all right so yeah guys um that was it that was grave of the fireflies so like the sister kind of said something like uh, why do fireflies die so quickly and um i i think this is like somehow uh, relating the fireflies to like the uh, like the brother sister and like their family i'm guessing and like it's like the grave of the fireflies something like that I'm not sure like what they actually like there must be some kind of symbolism of with the name and the thing that they said like the firefly size too quickly um, like my small brain can process it <laughs> so if you guys like uh, like know what they actually tried to like say to us by the sim like symbolic kind of title like grave of the fireflies and uh, be sure to like uh, mention in the comments if you like uh, know about it uh so yeah guys uh so yeah that was um this movie uh grave of the fireflies so next week um let me see uh what will i do just a sec guys okay guys um next week i'll do probably do this uh that is i was also mentioning this in one of the previous uh, movies this is like castle in the sky laputa i think tenku no shiro laputa and i've also heard this a lot of times in like a lot of other animes and everything like parodies and all uh like especially in gintama um, there was like a time when they kind of like made a joke about Laputa or something <laughs> So yeah, that's how I got to know the name. So I'm I'm like doing this one uh, uh, Castle in the sky Laputa, I think uh, in the next week uh, uh, I'll do this. So if you guys are interested be sure to like tune in as well so <laughs> So yeah guys, um, that is it and that was um, uh, Grave of the fireflies uh, It was a bit sad depressing um harsh and ah uh, like this was a completely new experience so yeah anyways guys uh, if you enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say uh anything you want to share uh, i'll be sure to check them out and also i'm holding a poll uh which will replace uh, like a show that will replace soul eater so if you guys are interested in that be sure to click the link in the comment section and go to the poll vote for the anime that you want me to react to and i'll do that so yeah uh, so okay guys uh, i'll be back next week uh, see you guys then so until then goodbye and have a nice day